Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. When people look deeply into the first part of A Course in Miracles, where I said that nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal exists, and therein lies the peace of God, it could be game over. It could be the end of all suffering. and the joyous understanding that the kingdom of heaven is with you right now, to be experienced right now. And yet, intellectually understanding that, even with the appeal that it has and the relief that you get, that none of your fears are real, doesn't quite do it. People do not read that sentence or even read A Course in Miracles and then find themselves in bliss walking around emissaries of the light. And you may wonder, why doesn't that happen? Why aren't we happy all the time if that's our true state? The answer is because of free will. Because you have free will, you are free to create the illusion of separation as long as you wish to cling to it. You might then wonder, well, why would anybody choose pain over pleasure? Why would they choose that kind of suffering? As you go deeper, you realize that it's based on beliefs. When you really believe you're separate, just like a little child, when their parents get divorced, they believe it's their fault, no matter what the parents say. Maybe if I hadn't fought with my siblings so much, maybe we'd still be together. Maybe if I would have cleaned up my room and not annoyed them so much, maybe mommy and daddy would. It doesn't matter what assurances the parents give the child. Almost always the children blame themselves for what they perceive as the separation. And the same is true of the souls that inhabit the earth. They honestly believe that it's their fault and they feel guilty and unworthy. Even though they've been told that they are loved, they don't feel worthy of love because of what they think they did. And even realizing that it's an illusion doesn't fully release them because they have not only taken these beliefs and made them real, but they've also incorporated them into their physical body. So that there's pain associated with grief and guilt and anger and shame. And that pain is to be avoided. So over time, what happens is the consciousness and the awareness of your body dissipates and just imagine your body as this gorgeous, gorgeous hotel. And somehow some things happened in this hotel that were a little scary based on thoughts, which had real effects in the illusion. And because of this, the owner of the hotel, which is you, has escaped into the attic of the hotel and pretty much just lives there every once in a while, hearing noises from downstairs, but too afraid to go down and find out what's going on down there. It's like living above your eyebrows and never going back into your body. And the way you do this is by collapsing your breath and breathing very shallowly or hardly at all. And if you get in the habit of doing that, 
Even taking a deep breath feels painful. It starts putting you in touch with what you've been afraid to go down there and experience. So even though intellectually you know that none of this is real, you're living and identified with a body that's full of pain. And what it requires is a lot of courage. You have to have the courage to let yourself breathe deeply and deal with what comes up, even though you know it's an illusion. Breathe into your discomfort, lovingly ask for help. Let me help you reclaim this body for God, for spirit, for its intended purpose. Breathe with me. Take in the love of God and let it bring up whatever is uncomfortable and breathe into that too and forgive that. And then reclaim this body for its intended purpose to be an extension of God's love to be the expression of joy and happiness on the earth. This is the work. This is why you came. You are up to the task. And as you become more acquainted with your deeper breath, you'll realize that there's nothing to fear and everything that you can experience with love will open up a wider space in which you can live and in which you can allow the flow of God to move through this body. You are stronger than you know. You are wiser than you know. And you're doing very well. Let yourself accept the love of God through God's breath. And become fully who you are. to express your unique purpose on this plane. There are so many who are here to help you. Ask for help and keep breathing. I love you very deeply. I'll speak with you again soon.